Hey guys, bike blogger here, going home. So tonight I wanted to talk about headaches. No one likes them, they're horrible. So, the weather's changing in my neck of the woods, and uh, it seems like when the weather gets warmer, I tend to get a headache. So, what's this guy doing? Okay. Woo, it's windy. I tend to get a headache when the weather gets warmer and it's uh, been cold for a while. I don't know why that is. It seems like uh, it happens to a lot of people though. It might be the uh, humidity in the air. It could be uh, the warm air, warm humid air something about it though it just gives me a headache haven't done much research on it let me point my light up a little more here it's pointed down a little too much <clears throat> but uh anyway that's not a cyclist Okay, lost my train of thought there. Headaches. Nobody likes them. But everybody gets them. I'm just screwing around right now. Haven't ridden through this parking lot before. Okay, now we're gonna go home. Zoom. Yeah, the thing with headaches, uh, oh man, I'm totally off having trouble blogging today. It's been a little while since I've done a blog. I've been uh, experimenting with a, a bike mounted camera and uh, it just doesn't work. Too much bike noise. He can't hear me talk or anything. In terms of headaches though, I don't know how to, pre how to exactly prevent them or cure them uh, or get rid of them. You can take drugs, like a painkiller. I don't, I don't take any drugs though. I try not to at least. Uh, better sleep, better diet, those are two other things, play a big role in your overall health, oh boy, didn't mean to go off road with this bike, but I'm doing it, got some 25 millimeter tires, and uh, sort of rough going here.
I sort of wondered uh, if I could ride on gravel with a, essentially a road bike, and I don't think so. You really need wider tires, probably at least 28s or preferably 32s, I think. Cyclocross tires. <clears throat> But if any of you guys have uh, sort of unique ways to cure a headache, let me know in the comments below. Mine has subsided, although it might, also, might just be because I've left work. Stress can really uh, induce headaches. But bicycling is a great stress reliever. Although, uh, if you work out too much, that can also induce headaches, I think. This weekend, I went for a ride to the park, and I, uh, I got pretty sleepy when I got home. <clears throat> oh, it feels wonderful now. It's going to be a little colder tomorrow, though. But yeah, the weather's changing. Things are looking up. It's feeling nice out. Springtime. Spring is pretty much here now. Tomorrow's St. Patrick's Day. Tuesday. Here in the United States. I don't actually even know whether, uh, I guess other countries celebrate St. Patrick's Day. I don't know if that's just a American holiday or or what, but there's going to be a parade going on in the park and uh, going this way today and it will uh, probably make things pretty darn busy at the park. <clears throat> things were busy this weekend like I said and uh, they're busy, almost busier today. A lot of people on the on the bike path. It's sort of crazy how from one day to the next, it's like all of a sudden there's a ton of people, speed bump, a ton of people on the trail. And, uh, you know, I'm used to going pretty fast, you know, 15, 16, 17 miles per hour on the, uh, on the bike trail. But uh, with all those people and kids and slower people it's just not safe to be going that fast so I got sort of a leisurely ride in uh, for lunch today okay we're going on to the big road here or so we think All right. nice gap Making a left here. This is a very busy road, but it's after hours, so that's a positive. Oh boy, here we go. I probably shouldn't have done that. You don't want to take any quick turns on a bike like that. Although you don't want to second guess yourself either. Uh, I only say that because if there's traffic coming and you really need to get out of the way and who knows, just assume they don't see you. If you happen to fall off your bike for whatever reason, say it's wet or just you fall off your bike, they could run over you and that would be no fun. Ah. Oh. Oh, but we're getting off topic. Some ducks. We're getting off topic. Uh, headaches. Feel pretty good right now. Had a headache earlier. I think it might just be too warm in my office. Or the humidity was just getting too high. 
that affects some people more than others as with most things I think let's see I can't see my speedometer I think we're going about 18 miles per hour pretty quick with my gear ratio that is my uh, front chain ring and my rear uh, cog I can really only go so fast before I spin out go this way instead of exploring the commercial slash industrial district <clears throat> make a left through here cut through here sidewalk I think or maybe not I usually don't do this there we go oh, my brakes are making a weird noise I have to take a look at that I might have gotten misaligned or something <clears throat> Do, 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 do. Speed it up a little. Do, 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 do. Get back on the road. You probably can't hear it, which is good, but my flashlight is shaking. Uh, I don't know if that's the uh, the lens or something. Have to look into that too. Lots of people outside. Make a right. <clears throat> I don't know, maybe that noise with my front brake pad. Maybe I had a leaf or something stuck in there. I don't really hear the weird noise anymore. Yeah, this is my Boda Beacon Fixie Cafe. CF bicycle cost me stock it was $320 seems like a really good bicycle all right gotta stop be a gap opening up here yeah it looks like there we go let's take it oh this road is horrible they're gonna rework it though this summer and fall and probably winter because of most construction things there's things you don't account for people are overly optimistic and it will probably take a whole year. <laughs> See you next time.